Actress Gwyneth Paltrow is someone who embodies elegance and class, so when I think of where she calls home, I envision the same type of atmosphere. Gwyneth lives in a stunning mansion in Montecito, California, away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. Her European-inspired estate was renovated from the grounds up to be her dream home, sitting on an ocean view lot with acres of land. Let's take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Gwyneth Paltrow is an American actress, lifestyle writer, and entrepreneur who, after six long years in the design process, finally has herself the home she's been dreaming of her entire life. It's definitely the kind of home that most of us have always dreamt of living in. But with a net worth of about $150 million, I'm not surprised she could afford to make this dream happen. After being born to parents who were heavily involved in the entertainment industry, Gwyneth would make her big screen acting debut in the 1991 film Shout, before going on to appear as a young Wendy Darling in Steven Spielberg's Hook that very same year. From there, Gwyneth distinguished herself from other young actresses in the 90s before deciding to create a very successful lifestyle business empire called Goop in the New Millennium. Since then, Gwyneth is probably far more known for her goop horrific novel novelty items like a focus calm device that you wear around your brain to train it to become relaxed, or even a pelvic clock exercise device. However, Gwyneth's fully loaded Montecito, California home doesn't come with any of that. At least, not that we can see on the surface. There's no crystal powered sweat lodge or anti-gravity chamber, but what is here still finds a way to nourish all of the parts of Gwyneth's life you'd no doubt expect including design elements that nurture the body, mind, and soul. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment today, looking at where Gwyneth Paltrow calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Gwyneth first fell under the spell of Montecito when she arrived in the city as a young woman to study for two semesters at UC Santa Barbara. After spending close to a year there, she was in love with the place, but before long, she moved on to LA to pursue her acting career. Still, she never forgot about that year she spent in Montecito. Over a decade later, when she was living in the UK with her first husband, Chris Martin, she'd recall how much she enjoyed her time in Santa Barbara community. On vacation, the couple would often return to Montecito and bring their children with them for the holidays. They considered it to be their hidden escape in the US. Then one day after her marriage to Martin had come to an end, Gwyneth began flipping through her favorite real estate app Redfin, looking for properties in that part of the country. This was around 2015 and much to her surprise, she found the perfect fixer-upper. It was a generous lot for sale with a teardown property on it, but it had all the potential in the world. Speaking with Architectural Digest, Paltrow recalls, It was like great gardens, there were wild animals living there and swarms of bugs, but I fell in love with the land and the views. So, in 2016, Gwyneth doled out nearly $5 million for the property, which is situated on a prime 2.4 acre ocean view lot. Knowing the place had a ton of potential that needed to be unlocked, Gwyneth brought on the architects of her original group pop-up shop and the company's first brick and mortar boutique in the Brentwood Country Market to set about building her dream home. Six years later and Gwyneth's life has totally changed. She's now married again, this time to writer-producer Brad Falchuk and her dream home, well, it's finally ready to show off to everyone. When asked to describe her European-inspired mansion, Gwyneth states that her influence came from a Parisian apartment set within an old European barn, something with high ceilings, flooded with light, a place that feels generous yet manageable at the same time. Yep, that pretty much sounds like a dream. So did she pull it off? Of course she did. Drawing inspiration from rugged old world barns, Gwyneth's team responded with a design that joins both the classic and the contemporary. Her mansion is a long, lean structure that's laid out largely on only one floor, with a shingled roof and stone walls that bring to mind textures of old-time construction. Of course, with Gwyneth's commitment to environmentalism, her home might look old, but it certainly doesn't utilize ancient technology. Instead, her home is powered on clean solar energy alongside a great water system. But the wellness of the land around around her isn't the only consideration. Being who she is, Gwyneth is concerned about her family's happiness 
happiness too. So she found ways to emphasize the home spirit, from the custom pewter finished bronze doors to the antique fireplace mantles, along with the freestanding onyx bar that anchors the living room. In fact, let's pause here in the living room for a moment to appreciate it. Beyond that bar is a lighting installation especially designed for the home by Lindsay Edelman and nicknamed Paradise City from the famous Guns N' Roses song. When speaking about the piece, Gwyneth explained, It's an artistic intervention into this incredibly calm space, like a gorgeous field of punk rock jewelry. And just in case that isn't enough awesomeness in one room for you, there's also a specially designed hammock that hangs along the other side of the room, which has its own jewelry-like details. Paltrow, being the furniture-obsessed person that she is, originally planned to do the decorating herself. She told Architectural Digest, I thought I'd get a few great pieces and it would be all fine, but as time went by, I realized that there were so many layers, so many things that needed attention, that I couldn't pull it off by myself. So Gwyneth called upon her friend and AD100 designer, Bridget Romanek, to help her make her decisions. What they ultimately came up with was a decor made up of traditional and contemporary and instead, these elements find harmony in understated colors, organic textures, and strong simple forms. For instance, the push and pull between concepts like old and new or soft and hard come to surface in Gwyneth's elegantly designed dining room. Here, the romantic hand-painted scenic wallpaper wraps around the entire space and complements the contemporary lighting and furniture. Other areas of the house that definitely deserve a moment or two to check out include the entryway that has a killer 18th century fireplace mantle and features reclaimed stone floors. Of course, you just know that Gwyneth's kitchen has got to be a masterpiece, and every inch of it is. The most eye-popping feature in this space is probably the massive plate rack stocked full of pricey Hermes dishes. And while Gwyneth hasn't shown off her top floor or the bedrooms that come along with it, her downstairs powder room comes with hand-painted wallpaper as well as an antique marble sink. Meanwhile, one major feature for Gwyneth's abode is easily her home spa. Seriously, think of an ancient Roman bath, but somehow even more luxurious. Explaining their design choices for this space, one of the architects mentioned, it's like an ancient bathhouse unexpectedly sheathed in these beautiful pale green tiles with an arts and crafts vibe. We love investigating the tension and voltage between things you don't normally see combined. Clad in bantam towel works, the spa is basically a masterpiece and most definitely the one room in the house that I would be spending the most amount of time in. All of that and we can't forget the yard. Out on the grounds, umbrellas and custom chaise lounges are all arrayed on the deck around a gigantic swimming pool. Almost three years to the day that she bought the house, Gwyneth, her new hubby Brad, and all their kids finally moved into the place. Three years after that, the renovations in their home were finally complete. When asked if she has any big takeaways from her nearly six year journey in finding the perfect home, Gwyneth told Architectural Digest, there will always be pain points in a project like this, but keep your eyes on the big picture. This house has taught me so much about patience and gratitude. If you commit to design integrity and character, you'll never be sorry. Yeah, I agree. If you manage to earn enough money running a lifestyle empire and can afford to live in a house especially designed for you in every way, how could you possibly wind up disappointed? Gwyneth sure hasn't and I'm happy she's decided to share her new abode with all of us. Alright guys, that's going to bring our Gwyneth Paltrow house tour to an end. What did you guys think of our stunning Montecito estate? Is it everything you imagined it would be? As usual, let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!